Hey guys, Ruprecht here. I want to talk to you about a real cool feature in Studio One, kind of aimed at freeing up CPU resources if you use a lot of virtual instruments, and that is the track transform. So a lot of dolls will have freeze track and, and things like that. Studio One's is really cool because you can actually track transform to multiple outputs. So in this case, I've got a drum loop that's all bust out, and what I can do is um, render that down into multiple audio files and I can also just kind of go back and forth so in this case let's say um, I've got a couple snares and I want to reverse them so that's real easy to do I can transform this to an audio track this dialog will pop up um, render all channels that's kind of designating that's going to be the multiple output deal if you have that unchecked it's going to just render it down into a stereo file render inserts if I have inserts on there that I want to render those down to free up even more resources, I can do that. Preserve instrument track state. That's important because that is going to allow me to go back and forth between instrument track and audio track. And then remove instrument. That's important because uh, that's kind of the whole point is to free up the, the resources. So if I go ahead and click this, it's going to do its thing. And it's not the, the fastest process in the world, but uh, for what it does, I guess I can't, can't complain too much. It's going to free up a lot of resources for me. And uh, this isn't a huge deal to me when I'm working on my PC at home, but for a long time I was working on an underpowered MacBook, and I pretty much wore this feature out, and it uh, it really really saved my ass, to be honest. Um, okay, so now what we have, we have all those audio files. And you can see that there's MIDI information on those. That's just kind of designating where it came from so it's letting you know that this was an instrument track and that you can revert back to an instrument track so I've got my kick got my snare these aren't labeled I just kind of know um, well that's my snare anyways you get the point so it's all it's all audio now um, so let's say if I had all my MIDI mapped out and I had everything the way I want it as far as velocities go and I wanted to do some cool things like maybe reverse audio and things like that I could take, let's say, I could take like a snare drum here. I could take those two and I can reverse them. And now I've got this. So that's pretty cool. So there's some creative things that you can do with this as well. Now this won't translate back. So if I revert back to an instrument track, it's, uh, it's not gonna be reversed, but it does free up the CPU resources and is a nice feature to have. So let me just show you, if you want to revert back, you just right click, transform to instrument track, boom. And now we're back. All right guys, Ruprecht out.